a quick tutorial on how to install mods. You will have this, um, hopefully downloaded, link is probably below this video. And um, it'll have three files in it. Your, um, we'll go to your iCloud.exe folder, so it's like the, you know, your main folder, whatever. And you'll just copy and paste these three files in there. If you want to disable a modding API, you can just change it to anything else Oop. and it'll no, not um, have the modding API anymore. Um, in here, you have the plugins folder for your mods. You see debug mod, API, and configuration managers in here already pre installed. Uh, other mods just drag and drop in there. That's all you need to do for installing them. In config, it has a Batman Max config file, which doesn't have like too many important things aside of a logo. And you can enable this here, and it will show you a console where all of the logs are sent in. So usually, like if mods like stop working, they like have some error messages with them, and it'll display in here. So if anything's not working, enabling this is the default pane. Otherwise, you will also have um, error logs in your folder. I th think they are created in here, if I remember correctly. Um, it'll also have save states pre-installed. These are any percent save states. I will just quickly go over them um, and how they work in the game. First of all, how to use the configuration manager. You press F1 to open the window. And here you can rebind any key binding that we use for debug. Um, yeah. So uh, you can experiment around with all of the cool things in debug instead of the cool things that are hopefully self explanatory. Um, I just go over says this real quick because. I don't know, it's probably good to know. Um, you have a quick start, which is basically just like one safe state, which you can just like use right now. Um, it's also safe to a file, so it persists between, you know, closing the game. So it's, um, yeah, it's located in here. This file should be it. Yeah, this is that one. Uh, for editing save states, you can actually um, open it. And there's a lot of things that you will find. You will find your max health, um, you know, whatever the health shards. There's a nice list of things that you will find in here. Um, and um, you can actually yeah, yeah, change them. Uh, next thing from the list is multiple save states. So I have, for example, like a show, a show states button, which is also by default F11, so it's the same as next page, which is something for sure. Um, then we have load states. You'll have to press, um, or like you'll have to press the buttons in the right order. So I have to press like first V and then two, for example, for myself. It's important because like the order is important, so if you press in a different order, it doesn't work. You also have to repress the buttons, but you'll figure it out probably. <laughs> um, yeah. And so I can use the show states keybind and then you will have all of the states. You can cycle through them with the F11 and F10. Um, as I said, we have the any percent save parts, so I can just press my note if I want button and or like any even I might have accidentally overwrite. Yeah, that's safer. But ignore that. Don't overwrite safer. It's pretty good, actually. Anyway, um, if you, I can actually use this now for saving, which is kind of good. Um, if you want to save a um, slot and you want to name it, by default, it's called insert name. If it's insert name, then as you see, like I saved like slot three. It has the build index and the scene no, uh, name um, specifier. If you think that that's not accurate enough, then I have no idea how, but um, you can just write in here um, 
actually what it was. And then you can save over it, and then you see that the name is already changed. Other way to change the name is um, you go into your page that you want to edit, and every page has a file name list um, on top of it. You will just go to edit it, and you will see that um, here is the final boss that I just named it after. Sorry, I was a bit confused. You can also name it um, in here. For example, beauty, um, and save it. And then I just reload it, and you see that Harry YouTube is the same. Okay, so that also works. Um, if you want to go back to the helpful C naming, you just click on reset. You could reset any key binding. And uh, as long as it says like insert name in here, which will do if you reset, it will go back to having the helpful C names. Um, I think that's it. Uh, the website is here. You can just click on it and then it'll open up. I already did that, but it'll open up the website. You can go to releases and download the latest release. After you download it, you will go to um, your web index plugin folder and then just drag and drop the DRL file into here. That's all you need to do for installing any mod, as I said in the beginning. But um, this is how you do that. And I think with that, I've mentioned everything. Have fun with modding and enjoy the game.